Hey everyone, it's Tuesday and that means it's Pinterest Tuesday episode 7. So today I have a really good pin for you guys and it is right here. And I know it's good because a lot of people repin this, like 8 people repin this pin. So obviously people likes me some strawberry lemonade. And this pin is from the Recipe Critic and I will have their little website linked linked in the description below so let's get started making some strawberry lemonade because i know i like some lemonade and it's spring lemonade needs to come out let's go make some right now so what you'll need is two large lemons some agave nectar strawberries and a blender mine's kind of like a dinosaur but whatever the first thing I'm going to do is cut the strawberries into tiny pieces so that I can fit them into the blender and they will chop up easily. You need one and a half cups of chopped strawberries. And look how big this strawberry is. It's like on steroids or something. I think it's two strawberries like put together. So. For one cup of strawberries, I used three really big strawberries and then one really tiny strawberries to make a cup. And then for the half cup of strawberries, I used, I think, two large strawberries and one tiny one. And now it's time for the lemons! So, I never actually squeezed a lemon before, and I think you should probably take out the seeds before you do it and not be like me and put all the seeds into the thing. So, you just gotta, I guess, squeeze really hard. I guess that's self-explanatory. And, yeah, take the lemon seeds out or else you're gonna end up like me trying to fish them out with a spoon and it's not really gonna work. So then I just like kind of put it in a strainer and let all the lemon juice go into a bowl and then the seed stayed. And now it's time for the agave nectar and you just need one fourth cup of the agave nectar and you might be saying what the heck is that? It's just a healthier version of sugar. You can find it in the baking aisle and in your supermarket and you can also substitute it for sugar. I'll have how you substitute it linked in the description below or just put in the description but you can also use honey and you would use the same amount as you do for the agave nectar if you were going to use honey. So now I added all the ingredients into the blender and it's time to blend with my dinosaur blender. So now to make it more like lemonade and less like a smoothie. I'm gonna add in water and then whisk it into the mixture. And the recipe said to add two and a half cups of water. And that seemed like a lot to me. I only ended up ha having to add one and a half cups and I just add them in little bits at a time and then whisk them together. So then the recipe said to serve with ice, so I added in my ice and then whisked it again to spread the ice around. And then to garnish my drink, I wanted to add 
some strawberries, but it didn't really work out. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys liked your strawberry lemonade. And so if you liked the video, give me a like, and don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to, and yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday. I hope you got your strawberry lemonade because it's spring and strawberry lemonade is coming out, so bye! <laughs>